One of the most important questions I get asked from business owners is how to find your niche. Now, I believe it's important because when you're building a business, when you can focus on a very specific group of people, you'll have an easier time becoming an industry leader and an authority in your field. Do you need to have a niche? No. But will a niche help you quicker because you'll be able to build a specific business for specific needs? Yes. When I was a photographer, my first niche was brides. Instead of saying I was a photographer who shot everything, I focused only on brides and then I quickly became one of the leading photographers in the world. Because of this, I was able to focus on a different niche, which was photographers. I went from shooting to teaching photographers how to run a better business. This then led me to another larger niche, which is teaching small business owners how to run a better business. What I discovered was that when I mastered one small niche, it empowered me to step into larger niches and expand my brand. If you are looking to define your niche, we could spend an hour together talking about the specifics, but since we don't have that time, I wanna share with you three powerful tips to help define your niche. Number one, who do you specifically serve? It's not enough to say you serve men. That's half of the human population. You need to clearly identify what type of men, athletes, entrepreneurs, stay-at-home dads. The more specific you get, the better off you'll be when you first start. And this leads us into tip number two. What problem do you solve? The best businesses take time to understand what problem they are solving, and then they offer the easiest and most effective solutions. If I serve male athletes, I could solve their muscular impediments with my physical therapy advice. If I serve male entrepreneurs, I could solve some of their time and management difficulties with my time-saving productivity tips. If I serve stay-at-home dads, I could solve their cooking difficulties with my recipes and meal planning tips. Okay, so do you see the patterns here? I get a niche and I build in content that speaks specifically to them. So do you see how we're honing in our marketing and our messaging by simply answering those two questions, which leads us to the last and final tip. That's tip number three. What makes you different? Like, why specifically you? This is your chance to stick out from the competition. Now we all have unique insights and experiences that we can use to differentiate our businesses. And they could be big things like degrees and diplomas and certifications and awards. And this could be unconventional big things like life experiences, being self-taught, having a great personality, or making things easy to understand. I want you to make a list of what makes you specifically qualified to serve a niche. Now, before you freak out, when I first started my business, my unique assets were just three things. I liked to write, my name, Jasmine Starr, stuck out on a page, and I profoundly understood my dream customer. Now, remember, I said I wanted to start off as a photographer, and my biggest assets, what made me different as a photographer, was that I liked to write, and my name, and I understood my customer. Like, this is not what you would expect, but I found a way to make it work. Why? I knew how to write blog posts and social media posts that connected with my dream customer. How did I know my dream customer? Well, I was a wedding photographer who just got married. I understood my customer so well. And my name, Jasmine Starr, is the, my birth name that my mama gave me and it just happened to stick out. So every time I introduced myself, I didn't introduce myself just as Jasmine, I introduced myself as Jasmine Starr, a photographer from Orange County, California. Now let's close this with a very simple exercise that is very helpful. My friend Mel Abraham developed the value articulation statement and it looks like this. I want you to fill in the blanks, but I'll use my business social curator as an example to get your wheels turning. I help business owners build a brand and market it on social media so they can create a life they love. Instead of feeling lost and overwhelmed because my purpose is to empower people to believe that impossibilities are just possibilities in disguise. Now it's your turn. Complete the value articulator statement to define your niche. If you'd like to dive deeper into understanding how to define your niche and how to build yourself as an industry authority, I'd love to see you on the inside of Social Curator, where our membership empowers you with the tools and resources to get building faster without losing your time or your sanity. 
Like always, if you have tips to share or a question to ask, leave them here in the comments below.